Hey y'all, hey, it's Camille and Kay. And today I am talking about prioritizing self-care as a single mom. We always find time for other obligations to our kids, to our jobs, to other people. But if you neglect you, then you aren't good to anyone and you're the only one that'll have you 100% of the time. One day, your kids are gonna have their own family, <laughs> their own lives, and while I understand the dedication, being a mom is just one category of life. You have other categories that you aren't tending to as much as you should, and if you're watching this video, self-care is probably one of them. You should prioritize self-care the same way that you would prioritize a meeting. Find time for it, pencil it in, put it on your calendar on a reoccurring basis, get a sitter for that time and don't deviate now you may think self-care just involves getting your hair done keeping your nails done and while that's a good start there's way more to it such as taking care of the body that wears itself out taking care of everyone else and here are five ways to self-care as a single mom the most important one is taking care of yourself emotionally and mentally taking care of kids while we love them dearly <laughs> can be extremely taxing so if nobody else told you it's okay to say no it's okay to set boundaries and it's okay to put your needs first it isn't selfish to put your well-being before others wants or demands of you the only people you're obligated to sacrifice for are your kids so if others don't understand that you have enough on your plate without their leftovers being added, then you can direct them to the trash. This can also include meditating, sitting in silence, getting some peace of mind, prioritizing sleep, or whatever makes you feel more mentally and emotionally sound. The next one I'm gonna talk about is eating properly. So I mean, not missing meals, meal prepping if you have to so that it's easier and faster for you to grab freeze meals or bulk cook on a weekly basis if you have to and if you don't like the idea of reheating then meal prep in a way that all you have to do is throw the entire meal in the oven for 20 minutes and you have a complete meal or create cold grab and go meals such as salads or sandwiches or fruit when you won't be or aren't in the position to heat things up. Next, I'm gonna talk about working out. Now I'm gonna say work out so that you feel as good as you look. <laughs> you like how I did that? You feel as good as you look. <laughs> Cause we all know you are the cat's meow, okay? And don't let nobody tell you different. Your body is the one thing that you get from the time you enter this world until the time you leave and you only get one so make sure that you take care of it if you have an infant or a toddler and you're unable to get a babysitter put them in a stroller walk around a lake run around the track or even run around a park or you can even get on youtube and do home workouts there's so many if you are in a position to hit the actual gym and maybe you live with someone where you're able to slip out early in the morning and get your workout in, do that. So maybe you can even go before the house wakes up. Or if you work near a gym and maybe you get an hour lunch, then maybe you can go do a 30 minute workout at the gym and then take a quick shower before returning to work. So a 30 minute, 15 minute shower and maybe the gym is right there by your job or you can um, eat at your desk or, you know, just I'm just giving you different ways that you can kind of work it out. If you don't like to intentionally work out, then maybe try classes or something that feels fun for you. Like I did a lot of hill classes. I did a lot of pole classes. So, you know, you can do things like that. You can... And if you're like into swimming or you're into just anything fun that's still a workout, do those things instead. Next, I'm going to talk about grooming. Now, I'm pretty sure you probably wash your ass, right? So I don't mean just taking a shower, but I mean actually taking the time to give your body the attention that it needs. Have a skin, face, hair routine that you practice. It may not be every day, but 
find the time or a designated time where you can actually give your body that type of attention. Properly moisturize. Sit in a bath and relax with some wine and a candle while you soak. <laughs> spray on your night perfume. Take the little bit of extra time it takes to spray on your night perfume. I have one. Just make sure that your body is being properly tended to. If you shave, do it. When the kids go to bed, do your routine. That's your time. That's your me time. Take advantage of it. Next, we're going to talk about maintenance of presentation. Keep yourself up for yourself. Get your nails and feet done. If you aren't the nails tight, just get manicures along with your pedicures. Cause I hope we all taking care of our feet. <laughs> Maybe even get massages monthly to release the tension that you're dealing with throughout the month. Keep your hair done. Get your lashes and eyebrows done if you're into that. Dress in a way that you're ready to take on the world with confidence. Now, I was the one walking around carrying a whole car seat in heels. So, I'm not saying that you have to go that far because that was me. <laughs> I was comfortable doing that. But whatever makes you feel good, feel like you look good, feel confident in your skin, and feel like you look and feel your best, then do that. The overarching theme here, though, is to prioritize you in whatever way you need to make it happen. Until next time. Love y'all. You know, you know that I feel good. Doing things I never thought I could. Smiling in the mirror, I look good. Like I should. I feel great, speaking new. I don't know about you. I feel good. Hey, I'm talking out, been working hard. I'ma hit the town. I'm at the beach when I'm in the house. I set a seeds when I'm on the couch. Got sunshine in the bottle every time I take a swallow. Like I'm taking a vacation, feeling like I hit the lot of walls.